Howdy, and welcome to Lee Reads, where I talk about the books I've been reading and enjoying lately. We have a new background because I finally have some new bookshelves. Today I wanted to take you along with me as I remove my jam-packed books from my old bookshelf, get them organized, and get them on these shelves, and then maybe we will do a quick bookshelf tour because I've never done one of those before. And with 80% more bookshelf room now, I might actually be able to show you all of my books. These are the Ikea Billy bookshelves. I'll back up and give you a better view in a second, but full disclosure, <laughs> these are the corner bookshelves and we did measure and they should have fit, but there was an issue with the baseboards and where our door jam is so that it would have been too much in the doorway if we set it up at the, the right angles. So we ended up doing a 90 degree. That's okay, I don't mind. I'm just excited to have more bookshelf space. We got the extensions at the top. They're not totally set up yet, but the goal is to use those for some, some storage or other purposes. So I'm gonna try to not put books up there anyway. Got a bigger bookshelf for our bedroom that's gonna have my husband's books on it and other books that I can't fit here but I want my very favorites to be here since I record here. And we've also moved rooms. So this bookshelf is in our home office now, which is the only room in the house we've painted. It's the only, basically the only decorated room. So I wanna back up and show you what we've got. And then we will play with some books. It's like six feet. So yeah, like I said, 80% more bookshelf space. Although I had my books so crammed and stacked, especially on the lower shelves of my old bookshelf, that these may very well be full already. I'm just really, I'm just really excited. So, yes. The shelves are pretty much full and there's just a little bit of space left for some some new books but also I there are some of my larger books some sci-fi that I loaned my dad that I don't have so I'll have to shift things around I'll do a quick shelf by shelf tour of the books because I don't really have to double up that many of them anymore yay all right I had to switch to my cell phone so that things would stay in focus better but here are the shelves Forgive me if it's not the best image because I'm holding it my, myself. We have this nice Jane Austen quote poster that my parents gave me for birthday or Christmas. And there will be the two extensions up there, but they're just not up there yet. So I checked my A New Hope print. We have Harry Potter. My husband and I each had so we each had books in this series, and so we have some duplicates up there that's just combined. Then Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, Count of Monte Cristo, 
one of our hand carved candles, and I have a signed copy of the Game of Thrones. Some special edition books. These are beautiful first like edition leather bounds that were in my friend's grandfather's personal library and she gifted me copies when he passed away which is very nice. These are fairy loot editions. My Susanna Kearsley historical romance is shelf have someone St. James on it as well. Then some more urban type fantasy Dirty Magic by J. Wells is a really fun book. It's a fun series. I really like the first three books in the Bone Season series and I have some Mary Stewart that I intend to read. Kind of miscellaneous books by Jane Austen, Frankenstein, Earthsea. This one's upside down. Whoops. And it's, this is kind of like a to be read shelf because I need to read the rest of these books. And then Star Wars down here. I used to have so many, but I've only kept my true, true favorites. Kind of the sci-fi classics. Again, my husband and I each had copies of books like the Dune series and Foundation. Then um, my dad had given me the 2001 series. We have some Ender's Game, Heinlein down there, and uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, I more books that I need to read here. I just found these Nora Roberts at Half Price Books and I'm halfway through The Legends of the First Empire, some E-Arcs, more modern fantasy, a little Naomi Novik section. I need to get myself the other book in the A Deadly Education series. I really like the series and I need to get Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee to complete this. Brandon Sanderson. These are the only physical books that I have by him. I have Mistboard in ebook and I have Skyward on audiobook. I just don't have physical books. The Expanse and some other favorite science fiction. A Memory Called Empire, Desolation Called Peace. Of course, Murderbot. I put Witch King because it's by Martha Wells there. And then some pretty books. Uh, more sci fi. These. Pretty editions of Mar Margaret Rogerson's book, this web comic, uh, Laura Olympus, that I'm really enjoying. That's the artwork is so pretty. Um, other special favorite shelves, you know, favorite book, favorite books. Really, really loved this one. Favorite books. More newer fantasy favorite books. And I'm reading The Will of the Many right now, and <laughs> spoiler, it's going to be a favorite book. It's really good. Kate Elliott Shelf, The Crown of Stars here, which I've collected over the years from Half Price Books, hence why th th there's such a variety in how they look. My copy of Drawn, which doesn't have a front cover, and then a continuation of Kate Elliott books down here. Some random Dragonflight, some ton of French there. And then Robert Jordan is down here. I used to have the entire uh, Wheel of Time series. I loaned them to a friend and I never got the middle books back. And yeah, this is the, this is the new bookshelf. I'm really pleased with it. I like how I can see all the books. I'm just gonna turn, I'm gonna turn this around. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I set up my long anticipated, much desired new bookshelf and took you on a little tour. Please give it a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and as always, don't forget to support your local library. Thanks.